But in the second form, we're going to use what's called uh, point slope form. And now, let's derive point slope form really quickly. And it's real simple or to derive. If we took the equation for slope, which is the difference of the y's over the difference of the x's, okay, all we need to do to uh, derive this point slope form is to basically take our slope equation, get rid of the fraction. And so if we get rid of the fraction by cross multiplying, we get 1 times y minus y1, which is just y minus y1, and that's equal to cross multiply m times x minus x1. Okay, so the point slope form is really just an alternate form of the slope equation that we already that you guys are familiar with. Okay. So if you choose to solve a problem using point slope, okay, here would be the steps that you would follow. Okay, step one, just like with the slope intercept, you're going to find the slope. Okay, now we already did that. Okay, so again, or let's just go through and see how we could do it by counting. So if I wanted to find the slope by counting, from point to point, I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So plus 7. And my run is 1, 2, 3, plus 3. So my slope is going to be 7 thirds. So it's the same slope that we found using the calculation method. Okay. Once you find your slope, now you can directly plug values in. Okay. So you're going to plug in one ordered pair for x and y and your slope. M. and you're going to solve for y. Okay, by solving for y, oops, this is an x1 and y1 here, sorry. So once you find your slope, you're going to plug in an ordered pair for x1 and y1, and then you plug in your slope m that you just found in step one, and then you're going to solve for the remaining y. Okay, so it simply goes to y minus our y1. Again, we can choose either point. I'm going to choose one is equal to m, my slope of 7 thirds, x minus my x1 coordinate is the corresponding x coordinate of 1. And so now it's just a matter of solving for y. So I'm going to distribute through here. I get y minus 1 is equal to 7 thirds x minus 7 thirds. Now once again, I'm working in a fraction form. So I'm going to turn my 1 here, my negative 1, into thirds again. So it's equivalent to negative 3 thirds. So when I add that to both sides to isolate and solve for y, I get y is equal to 7 thirds x minus 4 thirds. Okay, same thing, just a different method. Okay, I don't care which method you choose. Okay. Questions on this? Yeah. How to get B on this. Well, you're, you're calculating it just with the calculations. Don't, don't count B. Don't use your graph to identify it. The only thing you could, should do here is use your graph to uh, estimate and confirm. So based on this, I hand sketched it. Now, the, the coordinates are, are precise, but the sketch is not. But is it consistent based on my sketch that my y-intercept would be negative 4 thirds? Yeah, it's actually pretty consistent, right? about negative one and one third so it's it, it's very consistent it's at least it passes kind of the eye test it, it looks right based on what the graph looks like and what your calculation determined so if let's say let's say a problem and, and there might be one on your homework that says uh, right in point slope form. And so if you wanted to write this, given these two points, you want, wanted to write it in point slope form, you could do one of the following. You could either write uh, y minus 1 equals 7 thirds x minus 1, or you can write 
y minus a negative 2, or sorry, y minus a negative 6. So y plus 6 is equal to 7 thirds x minus a negative 2, so plus 2. So either of those would be written in point sub form. 